parts department right here. So they have all the tech manual. I used to run that in the military. Um, that's where they have the books for all this. Nobody knows everything. So each smart person that's a good mechanic goes to the book when he doesn't know. I've been wondering what was over here. taken out also. So all the money gets in these fucking things right here. Boom. The information is downloaded from the fare box to this computer part of it, the data. The money goes in this thing and then they take it out. These big old fucking things will be pushing. It goes into another room on our side. And the Brinks man come in with the new money truck. That's the bus I drove today. No, I'm not today. This is a service attendant. That's kind of like a little break room where you can get. Big bath. Bathroom. Deadline. Whenever a piece of bus is down for the equipment that something that causes to be unsafe or something and go here or something broke down an engine or something major piece this line right here comes dead so anything in the dead line with the red zone you cannot drive it unless you get cleared to drive it this right here these two bays are the bus watch Giant car wash. Drive those buses in there. Soap and shit everywhere. It's pretty, it's pretty neat to see. Go to the Oh, so you can drive it in here yourself? I know. <laughs>
DC nasty ass bus to be a part of the fucking coming in. It's like major storage over there for like bus shelters and shit. And they got a lot of shit in that storage being over there. But they use the parking lot for training. The fire department uses that section over there to train their drivers with the big uh, rear turning articulation, I guess you want to call it. It ain't really articulation, but the training over there. There's a fuel tank. Peak time, so that's why you see all these buses here. Peak time, it won't be nothing here. Oh, that's it, man. Means everybody's at work at non peak time, so you don't need a lot of shit out there. Now, as the city grows like a regular city, it ain't gonna be no such thing. Well, it will be, but it'll be. It'll be the fact that the buses are running all day. You hear the buses come around and stop running. Kind of like in the ready. In this section right here, they're just in the ready. Basically, the driver comes in instead of parking it way back on the line and all that. You have that bitch in the ready, ready to go. So somebody call in and they go, hey, um, we need you to go do a route four at two o'clock or whatever. Take bus 1249. Boom, it's already ready to go. What's up? How you doing? All right. Sit in the behind the seat. You want to sit behind the seat? Keep her name. And you get that ambassador, you can ride for free, and you give people. You know how they work, right? Mm -hmm. underneath the bottom you'll see like a pad that's sitting down there and it's basically wirelessly charged. Oh 
Ooh, this is so uncomfortable. Yeah, some of them are worse than that. Where it's harder to break. Usually the ones that got the cloth. The cloth on it, that's the leather. So the ones you see that are cloth, they're harder to break. How can you see out of this mirror? It's like night and day, right? You scratch down, you're looking at the ceiling. This is the Now we're gonna walk into the ditch back off. Okay. So this is where we go to the sign in, get our assignments, different routes. So if you don't know like the times and the actual how to do the route, this gives you turn by turn for each route. So if you're doing a route you're not familiar with. It's going to tell you left, right, left, right, left. And each one. This is Monday, weekday. This is Saturday. This is Sunday. These are all the schedules. This is what we get according to our route to load up in our buses in the morning. Dispatch. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Kendrick.